in that situation there with Krisky, is that just a matter of a guy being overwhelmed by the moment? I mean, I, I, I don't know that. I mean, you know, he's in a similar situation last night and, and, you know, really delivered. So it's a tough situation for him to be in, you know, at times, you know, his issue is struggling with command. Um, but I don't necessarily think it was necessarily a moment issue as, as a just struggling a little bit tonight. You had Wilson warming there. Was there any consideration to just going with Wilson instead of Krisky to start? Just, you know, Willie, four outs last night, you know, considered, uh, I considered him to clean up an inning, but, um, you know, not having much behind that even. Willie was a little more emergency tonight. How much does this sting considering you guys had a few opportunities to win it, had the lead for the majority of the game? Yeah. Uh, Absolutely. Um, you know, I, another gut punch, you know, a lot of good things that went on tonight and, you know, an out away there and, you know, they put together some really good at bats there in the ninth. So yeah, it's, uh, certainly stings on a long night here and, you know, looking like you're going to get out of here with the first game of this series. Um, but we also got to get over this and, and we've got a big weekend ahead of us. Is it a helpless feeling to watch that unfold the way it did with, with Krisky struggling so badly with command? Well, I mean, you're grinding right along with him and, and know that he has the swing and miss stuff to potentially get out of it. That's, you know, you know, gets a big strike out there of Martinez. Um, so he's capable of when he's around the zone with his fastball split, you know, of, of, you know, stranding a runner at third there and just hoping he could get through it. In the next Ken Davidoff. Aaron, some uh, accomplished relievers do struggle to make that pivot to the ninth inning. I remember back in the day, David Robertson admitted to that. Do you see any of that going on with Chad? No, not really. Um, you know, I think I think more with Chad is just, you know, and, and trying to protect him a little bit, you know, of some of his usage. Um, you know, we've we've leaned on him so heavily in the first half and and at the back end of the first half with multi-inning situations. That's why I've tried as best I could lately to, you know, pick some spots with him to have him down. And so um, I actually thought he threw the ball really well tonight. I thought he was crisp. I just thought they put some really good swings on him. Um, you know, I, like he, I thought he was sharper tonight than say, you know, in Houston when he was struggling out there to find it a little bit. I didn't think that was the case tonight. I just thought they put a few really good swings on balls to square him up. And just in general, how tough is it? I, you know, Chapman certainly seems to be back on the right track, but a lot of your relievers right now are scuffling and some are, are absent, you know, just, just, yeah, just I mean, to navigate these games. Yeah, I mean, part of that is, you know, you know, when you have guys absent, everyone kind of protects each other a little bit. And and that's why you got to lean on an entire bullpen to get big outs in different spots. And when you have a few key guys missing, you, you got to rely a little heavier. And that's when, when guys can become vulnerable. But um, – you know, we got to keep at it and keep grinding. We have the people down there certainly to close these things out.